the announcement of about the Bob Ross mm -hmm. figure. The first one is like the most viewed Facebook post Get in out. Funko history. How have you as a company kind of gone, okay, we've got a huge passionate fandom. How do we kind of figure out what will they buy? What are they interested in? Is that a lot yeah. of um, online social questions for them? It, it is, you know, we kind of view how we develop product and, and kind of getting sort of three different points of feedback. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's what does Funko want to do? What's our own vision for a particular product line? Mm -hmm. um, there's, there's obviously then what do fans want? And the way that we get that feedback is definitely from social media. Mm -hmm. We've got, uh, you know, a couple million followers between our different social channels and we yeah. definitely mine that. Um, either by just watching what people are talking mm -hmm. about or just straight up asking them. Tell me a little bit about what it's like for you guys and your team. Do you guys do like a monthly meeting where you sit down and everybody just starts throwing out things that they want to make or does it happen less times a year? What's the process for you guys to kind of throw out ideas? Yeah, we definitely have line list review meetings mm -hmm. where everyone's kind of sitting down and saying, okay, on this particular line list, you know, something like, uh, you know, Saga, which mm -hmm. is relatively new, or Bond, or what does everybody think? the most important characters are, what's really gonna resonate with fans, uh, what are the ones that are just completely iconic and we have to do, and then where we kind of surprise people yeah. with other selections. Um, we're gonna sometimes ask fans, I think mm -hmm. we did a poll about Smallville a couple of weeks oh, ago, yeah. saying what, what, which characters are the most important to you as fans. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you've got subject matter experts, depending on what we're talking about, yeah. whether it's a video game or anime or a, a, a TV show, there's going to be somebody here at Funko who is a fan of it, who's really gonna be able to help guide in terms of this is what is really classic from this particular yeah. show, comic book, video game, or whatever. So it's always a matter of just kind of finding who's the subject matter expert, mm -hmm. and that's, that's really who we hire here at Funko. Um, let's talk a little bit also about process. So you're in your line meeting, everybody likes the idea. You, once then the process, do you assign it out to a designer? Do you have a team that sets up, uh, you know, like watching or binging or, you know, just watching a, a catalog and then, mm -hmm. what, so yeah. how does it work? Um, it could start with reference art from the licensor. So that's okay. one thing, it depend, depending on, if it's an older show, we may already actually have access to something, like where if it's a small bill, mm -hmm. where obviously you can go and find out what those characters yeah. look like. Getting the artist some information about the particular property is kind of where it starts. We try to get as many people who know the property as possible to kind of think about it because sometimes there'll be this really great scene that we want to capture. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the past, pops and whatnot were a bit more static. It yeah. was just the person standing there, but we thought, you know, it'd be more fun to have them doing something. Mm -hmm. Typically, we'll decide that with reference Got it. so that we're not going through that process and having to go through the process over and over again. Right and the concept artist will draw it out and then we'll get that and sometimes we'll go, hey, could I maybe raise the hand up a little bit higher? Do you mind not having, do you mind having to redraw that? And they'll be like, sure, it's fine. Nice. So sometimes we'll mess with things. And that will get approved uh, by the licensor. Mm -hmm. Then they'll start actually sculpting it in 3D. Mm -hmm. So we have a team of sculptors that will work on that. Then we'll go back and start coloring it with mm -hmm. paints and color callouts. And then there's a more and more approval steps where that will go back and forth right. and the licensor will say, little yep, tweaks, yeah, that, things, yeah. Her, you know, her hair should actually be a little less brown or whatever the case, the eyes aren't quite right or you know the licensors can have a little uh, pieces of feedback right. and going back and forth and then we're gonna get in from there into packaging mm -hmm. making sure that we have the naming right and right. you know there's there's design elements on the packaging sure. too, the sides the back all yeah. of those details are gonna get covered and then eventually we'll kind of we'll get a final sign off and we'll be able to uh, show it to the public you know as somebody that gets to creatively play with all the things that you guys have done, what's your favorite part of the process? I sort of would call them the water cooler moments. Mm -hmm. It's where you're really just, you don't have a ceiling on it, you don't have a floor or walls or anything, mm -hmm. you're just kind of throwing things at yeah. it. You know, kind of a clothes horse kind of effect where there's not a wrong answer, there's not a, a wrong idea, it's just about pulling out great ideas and get people thinking and laughing and, and sort of, you know, when you put two sort of unlike things together and you start rolling those in a ball and you never know what you're gonna come out with. What have been some of your favorite lines to work on or do you have your ultimate mm -hmm. design that you're super proud of? One of the things that sort of made me want to be an artist was uh, Lord of the Rings and oh. all the stop motion stuff and Jim Henson, I really like those properties and 
the stories, and so getting to work on those projects is fun. Oh my god! <laughs> I did so... Dark Crystal. I did Labyrinth. We did just announce Fraggle Rock. Yes, on which is so great. That's so amazing. So, what was your favorite? So that when you were actually getting to do mm -hmm. your version of it, you like that's awesome. Well, I got to work on the Dark Crystal action figures, so nice. they were a little more on model. It was really fun to just sit there and like, keep adding detail. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> For you, you have worked with just about everything that's gone through this place. Can you say there's a line or a toy that you actually consider your favorite? I know it's like saying, which of my babies is my favorite, right. but for right. someone that can obviously appreciate a lot of different things, has there been one that you are uh, you were just super thrilled with? Um, you know, there's been many. Uh, I, I grew up the biggest Batman fan in the world, and I've probably designed, you know, 50 Batman items. Cool. So I've, I've crossed that one off. We we're, we're just did the James Bond license. That's yeah. a huge... You know, in our Hikari line has been a lot yeah. of fun. I was really excited when we got the deal done to produce Image Comics Saga. Yes. Uh, I had been advocating for that for a long time. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan. I've read every issue. Uh, my wife and I have cosplayed nice. as Marco and Alana before. Awesome. Uh, really, really excited to get that done. Um, that was definitely something where I, I was invested because I'm a fan, but I'm also invested because I know that there is a market out there for um, even an independent comic like that, yeah. it may not be a product that is going to be carried at mass retail. Right. It's certainly not going to compete with huge Marvel movies mm -hmm. and all that, but it's something that can exist then in comic book shops and specialty stores. It gives those stores something to sell. It gives those fans something to go and collect. Yeah. I, and I think that's the great thing about Funko is there's always room for the smaller titles, whether it's Saga or Supernatural, against the Avengers and Justice League <laughs> yes. and things of that nature.